Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I just wanted to give you a quick tip on how to deal with collision groups with physics. So um, I'm using the dreaded physics collision system in Game Maker Studio 2, which I actually enjoy quite a bit. Um, but I was looking for a way to allow some characters to walk through each other but still be physics enabled for when they hit other objects like enemies or bombs, which um, my quick searches online didn't really serve uh, very much use. Uh, a lot of people tend to recommend using other systems or other ways of checking and that there's no real way to enable and disable the physics system all at once, which is not actually true. So um, I found a page in the original Game Maker Studio documentation that goes over physics collision groups and it turns out if you set um, collision groups to negative one they will not collide with any other negative one collision group if you set it to a positive number it will collide based on whether you have a collision event with that other object and if you choose the same number that's a positive number then they will always collide with each other whether that event object is there or not so the way I use this is in my characters, I have my um, collision group set to negative one, so none of my characters run into each other. But in my enemies and items, we use the collision group one, and also one here. And with our eggs, we use collision group one as well. So they will always collide with each other no matter what. And um, if we go ahead and test the game out, I'll show you how that works. All right, so those two fell down. We're going to find get a couple eggs, and they're all going to bounce off of each other because they're, um, let's see, because they're in different collision group. I mean, in the same collision group. But our enemies don't actually, um, I mean, our players don't actually collide with each other. So I could have these two drop them on each other and it doesn't matter. But if I grab an enemy, they are obviously bouncing, bouncing off of other enemies. As well as the players themselves, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, setting it to negative one will allow them to... Um, not collide with each other and setting it to a positive number will allow them to collide with each other uh, that's about it I never know how to end these things if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below have a good day peace